Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and um, I wanted to uh, talk about you know what's coming up with the Creators Update. And in Creators Update, of course, one of the things that have changed is the layout of the Windows Store, which is interesting. They've, um, I think they've made an interesting job at making it a little more interesting to look at, but somehow there's something that I'm still not sure on the way that they actually put all of this. Um, now, I gotta say that every every store, the Google Play Store, the uh, Apple's uh, App Store, uh, I, I find that they all are messed up and really not well laid out and there's something that needs to change. So, you know, I, I do not think anyone has a winner store. In there. The only reason why some stores are used more than others is just because of the way that we get our apps. So of course iOS is number one because it's the only way you can get apps. It's like um, having apps through the uh, Google Play Store also. So this is new layout. It has uh, not, you know, it has changed a little bit. It, there's one thing that is added is the books side. So now you'll be able to actually download books that you can read. So that's what will be new mostly in the layout for Creators Update here. So there's uh, now a bookstore that uh, will be available. Apart from that, of course, the movies and TV, um, the music side, the game side, app side, uh, I've you know are all separated here. So this isn't too bad. But the thing is, um, I don't know. Will that make a difference? I mean, we don't have any numbers on how many downloads there are or how many people are using actually the Windows Store. My impressions right now is that the Windows Store is used less than it was a year ago or two years ago. I don't know if it's just me, but I would, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, and, you know, there are some glitches. I've uh, wanted to do some purchase of some apps and some games at some point. Notice there are some glitches. Sometimes you download the app, everything. Payment cannot process for some reason. It's really weird. They, they have uh, probably some underlying problems with the Windows Store, uh, I can tell you that. And a few of you have told me that you were interested in some of the games or some of the apps that you downloaded. You wanted to pay for it and you were unable to have it working correctly. Or you were unable to have it working after the payment and you had to you know deal with Microsoft and saying, well, I paid for it and it doesn't really activate correctly. Uh, you know, I had that with Groove Music. I'm unfortunately out of Groove Music now because I loved the Groove Music Pass that gave me access to pretty much all the music I wanted. Uh, but man, it, it, it just went berserk and I, everything went bad. So I, I, you know, unsubscribed to it. And uh, it's sad. And I had to call Microsoft because they were charging me all the time. So, uh, okay, you know, the representative, the guy that helped me was, uh, the support was great. The guy, you know, called me back and made sure everything worked fine. Thing is, uh, it needs to work better than that, for sure. So, um, a little survey I want to ask everybody. Do you plan to use the Windows Store to buy either books, movies, TV shows, music, games, or apps uh, with Creators Update? Uh, and have you already done so? Or have you only downloaded maybe free stuff? Because there's a lot of free apps and games available also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoy our look at Creators Update in advance, and uh, that uh, you will continue watching our videos.